Hi guys, welcome to Chicago Reacts. I'm Sonia the Thespian. And today we will be reacting to forcing a hundred oh Lord, forcing a hundred people to choose how their lives will end by Grace Still Place. Oh, I'm so terrified of what this might be. Um, but um if you guys can like and subscribe to our channel, we will truly appreciate it. Also comment below to see if you want us to react to any other videos that you might think that we'll have some good reactions to you know the more the merrier hey why not okay well let's get started with this because i'm a little terrified about this or what it is okay <laughs> oh lord <laughs> all right so we're back to the only game where people get the opportunity to pick exactly in what way they're going to die sims it's the sims Four. As Florida man fondles two people at once, hence breaking his previous record, it is time to attempt a new psychological test. We all know that Sims are good at dying. Well, my Sims are mostly good at dying. But I want to see if given the opportunity to die in a multitude of different ways, what will up to and I probably know all those ways Sims too. choose? I've I like how Claire Danes is over here. She's like, if I keep my eyes closed, tested the depression them a few times. can't touch Shh. me. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a bunch of different houses on this plot of land. Each house is going to have a potential way that Sims would, of course, die. I'm then going to let the Sims loose, and I want to see which houses the Sims choose to live in and die in. After all the Sims make their choices, so I'm dark. Going to cut the houses off. But so no sounds one fun. Leave. And then we'll finally see what life sacrifice allows the Sims to last the longest. Also, this dude is not part of the experiment. I don't actually know what he's doing here. <laughs> he's so randomly I there. Money to see this. Okay, so it's time to start building the tiny houses of death. All right, so we're gonna have a nice bathroom here, a nice living room. Can I say I'm very excited about this video because this, I, I was a little nervous at first, but now I can kind of relate to what's about to happen. Don't judge me. Boom, a literal multitude of bedrooms, dining room that makes you feel better than everyone else, a stupid amount of it's like TVs, a sim version of clue. amount of ceiling lights, and what the hell, a bunch of arcade games, and a dance floor. You know what, make that two dance floors. What the hell, nice. four dance floors. Obviously no dance floors. A bar. Without a full like a bar. Two of them. A bunch of sofas just in case there's no bed space. And there you go. It's hideous, but it has everything a growing sim needs. Everything except for one thing. There's no way to make any food. All right, this one's gonna be like an outdoor paradise. Nice kick-ass hot tub. You know what, let's have like four kick-ass hot tubs. It's just more <laughs> ways for people to die after all. What, were you wondering? Oh, then a pool. Killing people well, on this house? The pool. It's the dreaded pools. Pools are like cancer to Sims. I don't know what it is, but anytime a pool exists in a house, Sims feel the need to die slowly within its sad, boiling confines. Couple of outdoor bathrooms here. Big tiny ass bedrooms. All right, look. I can relate to that because it's kind of like how deers just walk in front of a, like walk across a highway in front of a car. Like, like, are you wanting to die? You see these headlights coming at you and you just want to stop in the midst of it and get hit by a car. Yeah. Dining table. There's like literally no way for me not to have a bar. Can't give them any other place to rest. This next house is actually gonna have everything in it. Everything but privacy. Plenty of bathrooms, just no walls to separate them. It looks like one of those furniture stores where you just get to see all the various <laughs> settings. There, right. Find all those bastards <laughs> on the products. Gotta change the name of this. Shoes. Your destiny. I like that I can nice. remove the wall, but somehow all the cabinetry is still levitating in the air. You know what? I'm not going to ask any questions. Again, everyone gets I never do. one full liquor bar. I'm not going to let a single Sims family go without it. Again, plenty of TVs. If anyone wants to do a comedy act right in front of their sleeping brethren, that sounds great. Or dining tables, obnoxious ceiling lights, especially over the people trying to sleep. All right, now the final house. This one's probably going to be my favorite. All right, see, this is gonna have everything in it. It's gonna have bathrooms, privacy, a place to eat, get a lovely rustic looking kitchen in here. You know what, what the hell, go nuts, get two of them. Hell, I'll give them a damn basketball court. A little place to get down, place to exercise, and the only place the DJ to sleep booth. in here. All right. right. A ton of ultra deadly Murphy beds. Okay, time oh, to the find deadly out Murphy what beds, think yeah. is most important. Important enough to trade their lives in for. A place where they can't eat. A place where pools will inevitably kill them. A place where there's no privacy. Or a place where simply going to sleep or existing inside of the area will probably get you killed. 
P.S. More ceiling lamps. Just putting plenty of warning signs up. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's the first 20 Sims. Go ahead inside. Well, Tim Horton's already working hard. Tim Horton's like, please, heart. Just give out. Spleens has trouble seeing Scream. anything directly in front of her because of the direction her <laughs> eyes face. I think that she thought that this shoe over here was one of her children. All right, different Sims are starting to go for different areas. Okay, we got a, one of them going in here to the, the Murphy Room death area. A bunch of them go into the area where there is no way to eat. This is a fantastic representation of human psychology. Look, everyone's going for- Into the one that doesn't have a kitchen. Expensive area. We do have a couple of Sims going to play basketball, okay. however. Tonsils is the only one that's chosen the, the third room of the lot. Poor Tonsils, he's over here. He's like, ant killer tastes good. Okay, yeah, a huge amount of people went into this area because of all the TVs and entertainment. Okay, all of the 20 people have chosen at this point. Everyone chose something except for the middle room here. All right, 20 yeah, not going to, the pool. to fulfill the agonizing death of 100 Sims. We've got a couple of Sims in every house right now but by far the very first one with all the fanciest sh has the most amount of sims that clearly don't value their lives no even florida man is over here he's like i've been preparing for this it'll take me longer to starve to death because i've got plenty of fat it has to burn through a lot of my original sims chose this area australian man is over here he's like did i did i choose the wrong house for some reason the air is filled with the scent of death 20 more sims off and away go my children all right yeah we got quite a few we got a sims few of, in the pool the, the, the swimming pool area hell. got a ton of sims that don't understand the concept of social i don't know why everybody's where the food is but having fun just kind of working out i just decided to click on weird al yankovic he's <laughs> over on the uh on the treadmill. This dude is blasted out of his mind. All around me are familiar faces. Except for that lady. How the hell did Betty White get into my YouTube? <laughs> it's an episode of The Sims when angry Betty White is on TV teaching you how to make a salad while this guy's mustache continues to do lines of cocaine. You can tell this is the type of guy, he's like, joke's on you. This is somebody else's mustache I'm wearing. That's right, everyone. Okay. Go forth and pick a nice house to die in. This is a hell of a pool party we got going on over here. Waiting for the, the cold glove of the Grim Reaper to reach in through the ground and drag them to hell. So, um... I went to go see... Oh, somebody's sleeping. ...inside of the house that has no privacy. Uh, it's pretty clear that it's people who don't really care. I love how one random person is just trying to sleep this away. They're like, hopefully when I wake up, everyone else is dead and I can go home. What the hell? It's Renee Zellweger in her underwear. Everyone has picked a place except for this dude who's standing out here talking to himself. The fact that everyone's cooking and no one's caught on fire yet is very inspiring. You know what? If this guy doesn't pick a place, maybe I'll just let him live. 20 more people. Have a Sims bladder, fail on a lot with five or more toilets. What do you know? All right, everyone, start picking a place. You two Brestorella, get in there. There we go. Oh, everyone likes your third to last place now. All right, another one for the pool party. I like how no one likes sports. Okay, the last sim has finally chosen a place time to lock everything down okay so over here we have the fewest amount of people in the murphy bed slash fire hazard death house i don't know what just happened but someone already died someone's dying from embarrassment in which house oh it's god which house? house that people are supposed to be embarrassed in. what i was saying before someone just up and friggin died is then we have this lovely house over here decent amount of people in here looks like a couple of people actually came from the pool party to end up living here to die pool party house has a good selection of individuals Individuals chilling out over here and then the house that by far has the most amount of people is the one where someone managed to die already never mind someone else is dying in here now i've Ooh. mentioned before that um there's times where sims overlap on top of one another and it is horrifying this is one of those times where it is <laughs> horrifying <laughs> This dude looks like he missed where he was supposed to put his pasties or something. <laughs> oh, congratulations. We have someone else now dying from embarrassment. Australian man. How could you know? <laughs> Y'all know you're not going to wash away all the urine with your tears, right? Picking this house was the worst thing that anyone here ever did with their lives. We've got our very first drowning death. This is what a lack of privacy does. This guy was, was in front of the toilet. It is right there. 
and he couldn't and he still peed i hate that Colt, no his mustache couldn't save him the drowning everybody's really kind of dying from more. embarrassment that's like here? the only death that's really happening when are you dying mostly naked renee zellweger is still yeah, here she, she dirty. Just smells like toxic waste now a few seconds later no renee zellweger's dying inside of the embarrassment house i don't actually know when this happened but there is another dead person now in the pool it didn't oh, even God. give me a death I used notification to... for this we've got another drowning death over here these people just love chilling out in this pool on and just keep swimming there's all right bodies Bobby's dying floating. of embarrassment in the embarrassment house she is dying of embarrassment right next to the the shower over here this is the most accurate representation of the sims i can possibly imagine everyone's standing here they're like let us watch in morbid horror as everyone in the pool drowns one by one. <laughs> There's not any pool area left. It's all just going to be bodies. Okay, this is very fortunate. In the very first house, no one has died lately because they're all sleeping amongst the dead. Oh, Spleens decided to come in here too. Spleens is over here. Spleens. Look at all this meat that got the heat. As much as it pains me, I got to get a pool cleaner in here to get rid of all these dead bodies. There we go. Notice we haven't really had a single person die inside of the workout house. Another person drops inside of the embarrassment house. So that guy who was like the last guy to try and pick a house is over here sleeping. Everyone's looming around him because there's a dead body right at the foot of his bed. <laughs> more drowning, more embarrassment. Bab Ross, she just got done dancing a jig and now she slumbers eternally <laughs> in a puddle of her own refuse. I love that Speedo guy is still alive. What in the hell happened in here? Everybody was sleeping. Sim asses. Couple more pool deaths going on over here. I like how death doesn't even appear inside of one of the houses. He's like, uh, I don't know which one to choose. Maybe I'll start from left to right. This lady just grabs some toast, put it on the ground. She's like, I'd rather die. Okay, most of my life is still complete. Florida man is still alive. He's breathing kind of heavy, but he's still alive. I just thought to myself, I was like, yeah, you know, we haven't had a drowning in a little while. There they go. What's funny is the house where people were supposed to starve to death, it's been pretty good. They're not even starving yet. There is only like four people left alive in the pool area. Another person goes down over here. Oh God. A Who fire. fire. I ain't putting it out. One of y'all better deal with this. Elena, you feared nothing, not even death. And for that, you <laughs> will be remembered with this face for all <laughs> The pool house was definitely the most deadly, but I think the embarrassment house is a close second. Tim Horton has died. And as you can tell, Florida man is very distressed. No, the starvation is finally kicking in. Florida man is dying of starvation. And it just brought me over here because apparently Noelle is dying <laughs> from drowning. Oh, now we're starting to get the starvations coming in. Now, it took a while. Yep. You all led good lives. Well, actually, your lives were living hells. But uh, you lasted a good long time before you finally died of starvation. We just got a three-hit combo right there. I think someone else is drowning. Yep. That's. I think that's our last person. Everyone inside of the pool house is now dead. So this is the first one that has claimed the, every Yeah, drowning in the getcha. How could you die of starvation? There's food everywhere. This lady is literally eating right in front of you. Colleen has learned the following traits about Alexa. Evil. Evil. By Alexa, do you mean gray? There are now only two people left inside of the starvation house. There is now only one person left. Spleens is like, this is metal as hell, yay! Okay, and that is the final person in the starvation house. So now that is the second one that has okay. claimed all of the Sims. LSD, even though she has lived a life of terror and embarrassment, has finally died to the embarrassment house. I cannot believe that these Murphy beds have not claimed anyone. Yet. Right, because the Murphy beds have killed me a few times. No, Spleens! There is now only five people left inside of the embarrassment house. Meanwhile, there's actually quite a few people left inside of this house. All right, we got a few house. more people dying inside of the embarrassment house. There is now two people left inside of this house. This is totally a safe place to be eating a sandwich. There is now one single Sim left in the embarrassment she house. She looks fine. Actually, since this lady's the last one left, she doesn't have to worry about anything ruining her privacy now. She might actually win this. So. There's two neighbors on the property over here. They came in and they can't leave. They're both slowly dying as well. Oh, this could be it. It moved over here, so I think it's coming. 
It's gonna be the very first Murphy bed death. It's oh! Time. It took forever because eventually the Murphy beds have to, you know, slowly get electrified and malfunction. A Murphy bed killed, killed, killed her. Inside the embarrassment house is still alive. She's sad because she's desolate, but she's still here. Okay. All three Murphy beds are now malfunctioning at this point. What the hell is happening over here? Why are you He's starving to death? There's plenty of places food. to eat. This oh my god, eat. are you serious right now? I don't even know anymore at this point. Why would you urinate all over the... Oh, the toilet's broken. But this one's fine. You shouldn't cry inside of the sparking Murphy bed. Well, that lady just got swallowed by the Murphy bed. There is now only two people left. One lady in here with the deadly Murphy beds and the one lady that's living a life of loveliness all alone. I appreciate that rather than use the restroom, which she totally could do, she was sleeping. And the Murphy bed swallows a young woman. This is unbelievable. But this lady in the embarrassment house who was the last one left because she didn't get embarrassed is the winner. Congratulations. Read your crisis barn because you deserve it. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Sims 4. Till next time, stay foxy much love. <laughs> I love these videos so much because I've done majority of these things not as extreme you know but i have had my sims die when i was yep so we're not going to talk about that but yes i really enjoyed the video i really love these videos um thank you for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos because you know hey we got a lot of them and I, you need to check it out all right see you next time <laughs>